So we're going to talk about autocorrect. We're going to talk about using autocorrect and how to get around what autocorrect will do, up to and including turning it off if you want to. We'll look at some autocorrect exceptions. And finally, we're going to use autocorrect as our own built-in automated spell checker to replace a text string of our making with another text string of our making as well. So I've taken the SNP tool and taken a screenshot of the autocorrect dialog box. That can be found by going to Alt F T Backstage Options, Proofing and Autocorrect Options. And there it is. So I've taken a picture of that. I'm going to close that. We're going to quickly go through these six settings. The first one being Show Autocorrect Options Buttons. That is in play when you have a website address that you type into a cell. When I hover over the website and then hover down, we see the autocorrect options. If I click on that, I get the option to undo the hyperlink that automatically was created when I put in the website address. I can have autocorrect stop automatically creating the hyperlinks. And I can go to the autocorrect options dialog box. What I've taken the image of, and then there's the other options too. So you can get to autocorrect this way through a hyperlink. So if I clear that checkbox, deselect that, I won't be able to do that because I won't get that smart tag any longer. The next one, correct two initial caps, TH capital E space, autocorrect corrects the capitalization of H. Capitalize the first letter of sentences. Well, sort of. I'm going to left arrow over a couple of cells and put the end, which is a sentence, and not capitalize the word the, hit the space bar, and it is at this point that Excel will start to capitalize the first letter of a sentence, the second sentence that you actually start to type. So I'm going to put the word the in there and space, and autocorrect automatically capitalizes the T, because I've begun a new sentence. But it only does that after you end a sentence in the first place. So I'm going to escape out of that and go down. Autocorrect will capitalize the first letter of the days of the week space. It'll correct for accidental use of the caps lock key. And I'm going to turn my caps lock on and then type a word, which is exactly inverted as far as the case goes that somebody would generally want. When I hit space, autocorrect corrects the case. And the last checkbox that's checked is replace text as you type. This is sort of like spell check, only it's spell check on the fly. If I put in A-C-C-R-O-S-S, -S -S, which is a common misspelling of across, and then space, Excel will correct that for me because the misspelling of across is on the list. Same thing with achieve, achieved, and achieving, and so on. But the problem, or a problem that you can run into, is maybe you have an acronym. In this case, it's ACN. And that's actually something you want to type into the cell, ACN. But when you do that, and you press the space bar, autocorrect will, in air quotes, correct it to the word can. But that's not really what you want to have happen. So there's three things we can do. Going back to Alt-FT, the Excel Options dialog box, proofing, autocorrect options, we can delete that entry from the list, or you can clear this checkbox so that autocorrect will not replace as you type, and when I put ACN in there, space, it leaves it alone, or Alt-FT, Turning it back on, you can begin with another character, let's say L, and then put in ACN space, and then arrow over to get rid of the L, and then enter. And autocorrect will leave it alone, and then you can continue typing. So that's sort of the long way around getting autocorrect to not do what it normally does. It might be just easier to turn it off. I'm going to call up autocorrect again, Alt-FT. And we're going to look at some of the exceptions. There's two major exceptions. One is 
don't capitalize after, and then we have a list of abbreviations that we can add to and take away from. Now, why would it do this? Well, because what we just saw when we end a sentence with a period, and then we begin another sentence with the lowercase letter on the first word, that autocorrect, once you hit a space after you type in that word, will capitalize that first letter because it thinks you're beginning a new sentence. So with the items on this list, it enables you or allows you to put in an abbreviation in the middle of a sentence, and it won't automatically then capitalize the next word after the abbreviation. The second exception is that you can have autocorrect not change when you have two initial caps. Like if you put IDS for IDs in your worksheet, autocorrect will leave it alone and not make it capital I, lowercase ds. So I'm going to close that. And the last thing we're going to do with autocorrect is use it as a way to have Excel allow us to be a little lazy. In cell C4, I have what I believe is the longest word in the English language, which is anti-disestablishmentarianism. And if we're inputting long words into our worksheet, like this one, or words that are hard to spell or that have complicated punctuations, or for company names that have to be very specific as to the punctuation because there's some legal ramifications, you can add these items to the Replace Text As You Type list, and autocorrect will automatically, with one or two letters, replace those letters with the longer word. So we're going to go back to autocorrect one more time, Alt-FT, proofing, autocorrect, and we are going to replace anti with the entire word. And I'm going to add that to the list. And so now when I'm in a cell and I type anti space, autocorrect automatically replaces that with what we wanted it to replace it with, which is the entire word anti-disestablishmentarianism. So that's autocorrect. We looked at using autocorrect and how to get around what autocorrect does, including turning it off if you want to. We looked at some exceptions to autocorrect, and then we used autocorrect to sort of build for us an automated spell checker to replace a text string of our design with another text string of our design as well.